Okay. Uh, hmm. okay. What about our relationship terrifies you? Money. <laughs> <laughs> that we do not have enough money to get our own place sure. especially at being a financial planner myself mm. yeah like try how do we work harder to get more money that we could you yeah. know, supplement our lifestyle our our what's it lifestyle i mean our retirement together and all these things you know because let's face it there's no one else we can depend on now unless we adopt kids whatsoever. I think that's what terrifies me too. And the fact yeah. that um, I think Singapore is not uh, our kind of marriage is not legalized yet. Yeah. So it's very hard for us to have a shelter. We cannot we cannot like you know normal couples get like a joint thing, HDB, BTO, mm-hmm. where you get grants and things like that. But for unless us, we're, we're rich enough to yeah, get a condo. That's why which we can but it was private you can buy together but yeah so i guess it's more of the fact on that l- the future you know in singapore what we have yeah what we can plan for is pretty i mean uh, yeah it's against us i would say to a certain extent la. Uh, yeah, we, there, there are ways we can play around with it but okay. it's, it's because we are not conventional in a sense mm-hmm. so it's harder for us to think of ways to, to make it that goal yeah like we want to get a place this year right since mm. you're 35 yeah okay so everybody knows you're 35 now but mm. yeah so but the thing is if i were to pour in money into your house then what if something happened then yeah. would i get any compensation mm-hmm. no yeah yeah you can't like say oh this because he is my yeah, yeah. BF, kind of thing, right? Yeah. True. Not like if we were to fly overseas, get married, then the like, paper doesn't work yeah. here also, so it's not recognized. So mm-hmm. yeah. That's the thing about our kind of relationship that's a little bit Terrifying. frightening here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You? I think that's same. Yeah. Yeah. Same right? thing, yeah. Yeah. I mean our goals our goal or goals are the same right now at this stage. Yeah. So whatever frightens you, will frighten me as well. Definitely. Okay. What? We had an argument on this before. Okay. <laughs> Shoot. Am I your best sex? Uh, <laughs> well, you are my first and only. So. Oh. Not exactly. Yes. I would say sex or making love. Alright, I would say making love. Make love. Don't change the question. Is it sex? Right, okay. <laughs> I cannot have sex with someone I don't love. So, so I mean, that's me. Yeah. So it's the same. Okay, yeah. Of course, I mean, you're my first. So I had my best. Or you can say best and worst, whatever. Or anything in between. It goes along as well. Actually, do you ever get curious like, about? Is there another level that you can reach? Mm, I mean, I'm always very satisfied and always very happy. You know, with, <laughs> with whatever we have done. Or, so, yeah, I have no complaints. Okay. Yeah. So don't worry about that. Okay. okay. Are you going to ask me that question? Uh, should I? <laughs> well, I, I know the answer, but... Uh, hey! There okay. are changes to the yeah. answer okay. since so like it's been you. so many years ago. Yes. Okay. That's the thing. So many years already. I should ask you. Am I your best sex? <laughs> I mean now, yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. So but what what I mean now of course? We had that talk before. Uh, okay. last time when you first started and you, you I suck at it. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing you have to do, right? Mm. Yeah. I but have to learn. <laughs> It's the part whereby it's the teaching, you know, figuring out. So, I mean, of course, too, you know, me being me, if you ask me, is that best? No, it's not the best. Yeah. But I'm teaching you to be the best. Of the best? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, it's between us, ma, right? Okay, yeah. what, what works for me might not work for Somebody another else. person. So, yeah, I'm teaching you what is 
best for me and letting you know that similarly you have to let me know what's best for you. Sure. I enjoy it. Like the journey, I mean the process, progress, whatever. It's it's fascinating for somebody who has never done it before. It's a yeah. it's a very happy journey. Yeah. My years of experience. Yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> kind of experience. Yeah. Yeah. So in summary, yes, you are still you you are now now you're my best sex. <laughs> Okay. All right. Why do you love me? Hmm. This one has to write an essay. I agree. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> no lah. Okay. Why I love you is because you allow me to grow and learn. Mm-hmm. Okay. At the same time, you allow me to mold our relationship. You be. You are willing to. Listen to me, you know. Because so, this is the more experienced one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more like your nonsense. <laughs> but yeah, going there is more like growing more, together. Yeah, and being willing to commit to it. Mm. That's one thing that I, that's why I love you. Because mm. I mean, let's face it. These days, people don't really okay. People are developing commitment phobia. Yeah. These days, very quick easily. Fix. Yeah, quick fix and stuff. And I am because you don't believe in quick fix. You believe that yeah. relationship takes time and old fashioned kind. Yeah, I think so too. Tradition, a bit traditional on that mindset. Yeah, rather than like you have to change. Like after I tell you, then the next day you have to change, which mm. doesn't happen because let's face it, we're all humans. We are not robots that be programmed straight away. Yeah, uh, so. Yeah, pretty much more about you being who you are that makes me love you, lah. Hmm? My turn. Yeah, of course, <laughs> ask me. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm a very old-fashioned person. So once I'm committed, I want to go. I want to go in hundred percent. And once I, you know, once you are my other half. Uh, there's no other reason for me to look at other guys or think about having, you know, that kind of uh, affairs or things like that. Lah. So, uh, yeah, you can call me old fashioned, call me naive, or, or oh yeah, because I'm this is my first relationship and I'm new to this circle. And a lot of friends told me that oh yeah, you you are just because it's your first relationship and you haven't been heartbroken before. That's why. You have all these uh, perfect thoughts of a per- you want to paint the perfect picture of how relationship goes. But I think, yes, I do want to cherish get that kind of my mindset. Mm. But at the same time, I want to live and I want to love, uh, you know, with all my heart, because I'm capable of doing it. And why not? Mm-hmm. And if I found the right person, then and he has shown me, and he has shown me his heart, then why should why should I not be showing him his heart, my heart? So that's my rationale, and that's the reason why I love him. Mm-hmm.